Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? If you're new to my channel, welcome to the stunning world of Clarins. So on today's video, I'm going to be introducing you to Malaysian slang, the way we speak. I'm like 100% sure there is no other world in this in the there's no other country in this world that has such a beautiful, diversified culture as Malaysia. Malaysia has one of the best diversity out there in the world. Besides political crisis, we do have something to contribute to the world. How do you use the term la in your sentence? The term la is used at the end of the sentence. For example, when you say, how are you doing? In Malaysia, we say, How are you doing la? You should use the term la to make yourself look more Malaysian. The word or not is also used very widely in Malaysia. For example, How are you doing la? Okay or not? Okay or not? See that? That's what I did there. It's the Malaysian way. There are a few terms that you should be very careful when using, such as day. Day is an Indian term. The thing is, you should not be confused when to use it because it can cause serious consequences. So, when you want to scold your friend, you say day. When you want to say hi, you also say day. There are many uses of the term day in Malaysia. Day is a term only to be used between friends. Also, certain other things that we do say in Malaysia is divorce. Divorce in Malaysia is pronounced as divorce. Divorce. Jewelry is pronounced as jewelry. Jewelry. Lettuce. 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 Quinoa is pronounced as quinoa. Vineyard is pronounced as vineyard. Tuition is pronounced as tuition. Tuition. We do not use the term reverse in Malaysia. We use the term gostan. Gostan. Waffle in Malaysia is known as wafel. Wafel. Film is pronounced as film. Film. Here are a few slang words that will make you sound like a local. The term kill joy in Malaysia is known as potong steam. When you are in a restaurant, it will be helpful if you use the word boss, boss, to call the waiter. Why do we call him the boss? No one knows. When you are caught red-handed doing something, the term used in Malaysia is known as kantoi. Kantoi. When someone catches you red-handed doing something nasty, you say kantoi already. Kantoi already. Such simple terms will help you out on your journey to becoming more Malaysian. If you are having any doubts, please leave a comment below so that I will be able to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye. Take care.